Hey guys, welcome to another tier ranking, and welcome to my John Travolta tier list. These are all the John Travolta movies I have personally seen, and the ones I want to talk about. So, John Travolta, I like him as an actor, he's got a lot of bad roles. Some intentional, some unintentional, but John Travolta, I've grown up with his movies my whole life. The good, the lots of bad, but it's John Travolta, guys. I love to talk about him and some of his uh, films, and yeah, I'm going to go as quick as I can because there's a lot of videos i got to get out, and it's really light right now, so I just want to get through this list, so let's get to it. Savages is the first one on the list. Savages, he was a small role, he he's a police officer in this movie. This movie completely sucked. I'm sorry, I was not a fan of it. I, I don't mind Taylor Kitsch in the movie, and... Uh, uh, what's his name? Aaron Taylor Johnson. Like, they're fine. They're kind of cool. There's an action moment here that's pretty good. But Blake Lively is god awful. And John Travolta is pretty god awful in it, too. And just, yeah, it's not a good movie. <laughs> then The Punisher. Punisher is like is a middle of the road movie. There's cool action scenes. I think Thomas Jane's a pretty good Punisher. And I actually think John Travolta is a pretty good villain. And there's some hilarious moments that. Aren't meant to be funny, but they are funny. Is there's <clears throat> there's some bad acting and some really really bad writing in this movie, and there's just a lot of things that needed to be changed. And there is a good movie in here, and we got some of it. It's an okay movie, but they just needed to you know change a few things. Then we got the Taken of Palomo two three, which is a remake of the classic. The classic's awesome. This one is okay. John Travolta. He's having fun being the crazy villain and stuff, and you got Denzel. He's fun, too. He's enjoyable. It's just, it's like a little heist movie. They take over a train because they want, like, $10 million and stuff. It's predictable. It's cliched, but it's entertaining. Phenomenon? Terrible. <laughs> it's not a good movie. Uh, Blowout is fantastic, though. Blowout is a Brian De Palma film, and John Travolta plays like a, a sound editor for a movie studio. He's looking on getting sounds, but that he witnesses a murder and films the murder with his recording, and then the killer starts going after him and stuff. This movie is so underrated, and no one has seen it. People need to watch this movie. It is brilliant. Great psychological thriller. Uh, John Travolta and Nancy Allen are both amazing in the film. The film is so intense. It's a great thriller. Underrated. So good. People need to watch it. Then you got Grease. Which I love. I know some people don't love it, but I don't give a fuck. I love Grease. Grease lightning, go Grease I have a poster of Grease in my spare room here. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it. I've done a whole video about it. Everyone knows how much I love Grease. Old Dogs. Shit. I know it's him and Rob Williams. This movie should have worked, but it's not. It's not a funny movie. It sucks. Bolts. Bolts are pretty good. But I like Bolts. I love that he... John Travolta plays the dog, and then got Miley Cyrus as the owner, and he's this dog who's a, is a TV star, but he actually thinks he's a superhero, but when he goes in the real world, he's not a superhero, he's just a dog. <laughs> it's kind of fun. And then we got Michael, where he plays an angel. I don't remember a damn thing about that movie. I watched the movie as a kid, and I don't remember a fucking thing, so yeah, DT. <laughs> Be cool. Alright, I might as well do Get Shorty. Get Shorty is fucking awesome. I love that he plays like this mob mob guy he's shylock and he wants to get into the film industry and stuff and i love it. it's just it's a great movie about the love of cinema and the love of like mafia films and stuff it's great be cool is about the music industry and trust me it's not very good be cool is not a cool movie <laughs> swordfish i'm gonna put in the c tier even though it should be an f i love it though it is so ridiculous i have a guilty pleasure for swordfish it's so over the top it makes no fucking sense, but it's entertaining as hell. Face Off, just a fun action movie. I'm going to take its face off. Ooh, wee, you good looking. Literally, it's the two most over-the-top actors of John Fulton and Nick Cage, and the most over-the-top action director of John Woo, all doing a movie together. Like, what's not to love? Pulp Fiction, probably the only S-tier John Fulton movie. <laughs> Love it. It's a great movie. Writing at its best. It's it's like I've talked about Pulp Fiction so many times. It's Tarantino's masterpiece. Wild Hogs. Underrated. I like Wild Hogs. I know people hate this movie. I love it. I think it's great. 
I love it that these old dudes and they have like this the, the little biker gang and then they go on this road trip and they run into real bikers and stuff. It, it's so dumb and silly, but I kind of love it. I have a soft spot for it. From Paris with Love, not very good. Palfield Earth, one of the worst films ever made. Broken Arrow, again, like Swordfish. It's a bad movie, but it's so funny. It just, it's, it's, it makes no fucking sense, but I love it. Okay, then the fanatic. <laughs> fanatic should be here, man, for the entertaining. It's, it's an app, though. It's one of the worst fucking, it's directed by Fred Durst. It's, it's amazing. It's, it's an amazing movie, but it, yeah, it's, it's 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 trash. It's a trash movie. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, Grant look who's talking. There are okay movies, you know, The Talking Baby, Bruce Willis, John Travolta, Chrissy Alley. And like, I'll put the. They're okay. The one with the dogs, stupid though. Yeah. The General's Daughter tries to be a serious thriller. Doesn't work. Hairspray, I know people love it. I, I think it's, it's... I'll put in the C tier. I think it's okay. Lucky Numbers, yeah, TV man tries to rig the lottery. Fucking dumb. Gotti, one of the worst things ever. Staying al oh, yeah. Saturday Night Fever, actually, will go in the S tier. I think Saturday Night Fever is a fucking brilliant movie. I think John Travolta is such an unlikable asshole in the movie, but he plays the role so fucking good. This movie, every time people think of Saturday Night Fever, they always think it's like a Grease sort of movie, like this like PG romance movie. It's not. It's a hard R-rated film about disco in the 1970s, and there's a lot of drugs during that era, a lot of mistreatment of women and like crazy fucked up shit and stuff. Like It is a gritty, brutal film, and I love it. Staying Alive, though, is trash, though. <laughs> Domestic Disturbance... It's kind of a fun little thriller. Vince Vaughn is the bad guy. It's okay. Basic. Ugh. Terrible. Civil Action. That was... Also, not that good. <laughs> Ladder 49 is like uh, him as a firefighter with Joaquin Phoenix and stuff. Overly sappy and melodramatic, and I don't really care for it. Then there's Primary Colors, which is basically him playing Bill Clinton. <laughs> It's kind of a funny satire, but it's just okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't expect John Travolta to have like a lot of like top tier movies. Like, I think he's a good actor, and I like John Travolta, but he's played in some real fucking stinkers. S tier easily, yeah. Pulp Fiction, Saturday Night Fever. A tier, yeah. Blow that's his best in Grease and Good Shorty. The B tier, yeah, I'll put Face Off there, and yeah. C tier, I'll keep the Punisher, take him home. Yeah, that's funny. Spray and there we go. The D tier, I'll put Loud 49 at the top with from Paris for Love, I guess. Um, I guess yeah, there we go. F tier, uh, oh my god, there was one joke that kind of made me laugh, so I'll put it off the top. Then I guess basic, I don't know. These are all awful. No, the fanatic goes, has to go on the top. It's the funniest. <laughs> it's an S tier, entertaining wise. <laughs> um, Battlefield is the worst. Then Gotti and Stan Alive. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. There's my tier ranking of John Travolta's movies. So let me know in the comment section below. Please tell me what's your favorite and least favorite John Travolta film. Comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.